Hello everyone. Today we are going to implement this destructible meshes with chaos destruction. Raise the preview. So as you can see, we can destruct these walls uh, section by section. So let's see how to implement this today. For this we will be using Unreal Engine 5 Chaos Destruction System and the Force Fields plugin. Right, so I'll start with this first person template. Let's name it FPS. Destruction. and we don't need any starter content or anything create right here is the project let me play that okay right so as you can see there are no destruction everything uh, undestructible so to implement destruction uh, we have to enable project settings sorry not project settings plugins the field system this is beta so we have to use it with caution of course and restart let's hope it will go out of the beta phase pretty soon right field system activated so uh, actually field this system we need, we gonna need it later first we can even without activating the field system we can go to the fracture mode and fracture these walls so let me select this wall and we have to create a new geometry collection asset these are the kind of assets that we store destructible mesh data kind of like apex destructible meshes maybe okay let's create one create a new folder i'll name it destruct let's use the same name SM clip 2 geometry collection right so this is highlighted so now we can prepare and share this okay now we can um, fracture these measures using these uh, options so shall we try this Let's try this uniform. There is a brick pattern and cluster pattern, a lot of patterns as well, but let's use the first one. And here you can see a preview of how destructions would happen with these lines. So I think we can have some more. Max min Voronoi sides, max Voronoi side. How about 60 and 80 is it good enough? Mm, 400 120 right so this may be better and here you can visualize the explosion of these individual components but for that we have the first fracture now you can see a breakdown see right okay uh, now if I want to have this same uh, gray color we can here show bone colors we can disable it and we can go out of fracture mode so it looks like any other bone 
please remember oh let me make the starting character paste that word <coughs> right so as you can see it already starts to show some damage but nothing happens as we shoot also it shouldn't start fracturing until we shoot at it but if we want to simulate this maybe we can try this see oh it fell down uh, maybe we can enlarge this a bit so we can clearly see right so you can see already the destruction happens and the physics is enabled but it doesn't react to this ball so yeah, let me put this back on the ground okay and uh, yeah to make it prevent starting to uh, to make it prevent distracting before we shoot at it uh, there is another component mm. anchor some weight an anchor field why field system yeah under the field system we have this fs anchor field generate so we can create a subclass but it should usually come here when i type maybe if i enable engine yeah, if I have the engine content, it might show up. Right. Still not. Yeah, here we have FS anchor fit. So let me drag and drop one here uh, so the purpose of this anchor field is to kind of hold this uh, object preventing it from getting disrupted so if let me place it like this we need to set this in the geometry direction as well as the initialization fields let me set this right now it doesn't get destroyed <coughs> okay so the next thing is now we need to apply damage so for that we need to have another type that apply damage uh, it should be in the same place as this one yeah master field so by extending from this class we can have various different type of fields but let just let's just use this one use this one uh, here activation type is delay so after a delay this applies damage so let's set the delay to 2 and play see damage is applied here <coughs> let me remove this so I can clearly see that okay so 
if I uh, See, more damage is done. Uh, and if I make this larger, see, more a larger area is affected. So, okay. Okay, so uh, now what I'm gonna do is upon the collision of these balls that I hit from the gun, I need to enable destruction. I need to spawn a master field. So maybe a master field of with the default size should be fine. Right. So let me remove this one and. Me up on the gun. Go print. So how does shooting work? Uh, we fire projectile. This is the projectile actor. BP first person projectile. Here. I went hit. Oh, it already had an impulse. So the impulse is added only if the target or the object that hits mm, is uh, is simulating physics. So let me add a custom event spawn force field. And this should happen only once, only at the first hit of this uh, projectile. I think that would be better. So let's add that once. Note. <coughs> and here, let's spawn actor from class. The class name is, what's the class name? FS master field. FS master field. Spawn transform split. We can get the location of this sphere. So get world location. Oh, we should call it here. Mm, spawn force field. Oh, here we can see some destruction. Not enough to do the damage. Okay, so what we can do is increasing the damage for that. Mm, maybe we should have another class, a child class of this master field. And let's put it under destruction. Where is master field? Let's call it projectile hit force. Right. So the type should 
be yeah delay is fine but let's reduce the delay amount <coughs> and let's increase this force fourth We need to spawn this one now. Project added force. not enough to break it through mm, let's try this value so now 70,050 and shall we increase the size as well is a problem um, yeah I, that happens because of this so maybe we should change it instead of making it like that maybe we should have this component here so it won't look unrealistic let's try now This is much better. Okay, so similarly, oh, we can delete these three words and Duplicate this was with destructible words. to stop this episode right here so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye